What is going on everybody? It's Cool 200 here, but you guys already know that. And today, we have four Chase Elliott diecast reviews. I know you only see three, but there's four. Um, I just need a bigger box for the 124 scale reviews, but it's okay. Uh, I do want to point out right away, this car, I was supposed to have an Elite for and it never came. So if that comes, that will be in a separate video. Maybe with another car, but I have no idea. So let's go ahead and jump right into this. I think we'll start with the standard finish. And that would be Chase Elliott's Sun Energy 1 diecast. As you can see, this is not the one he has ran at Walken Glen or the Roval, which by the way was a fantastic race. 10 out of 10 in my opinion. But anyways, here it is. In all of its glory, I'm going to just go ahead and open the hood for you. I know you can't really see in there. I'm sorry about that, but there's the hood nonetheless. And then on the hood, you have Sun Energy 1, of course. And then you have the beautiful flames that come up on the hood. I just, I, I love this, this pattern. I know I said it with 164, but I just love the pattern that are on these cars, or this car, I should say absolutely beautiful the napa there some energy one napa auto parts and some energy one on the roof with of course your opening roof flaps no open deck lid it does not open which is what makes this a non-elite here's the other beautiful side not going over this too much because i already went over it with n 164 just look at that mean camaro body i know we've seen it for almost a year now but a NASCAR year now, I should say, but it's just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, yes, the wheels do turn, of course. So, just really a beautiful, beautiful die cast. Really love it. And let's move on. And we're going to move on to another standard finish with, well, it's not a standard finish. It's a color chrome standard finish, meaning it's not an elite. But here it is, the Mountain Dew. Chase Elliott diecast. This is absolutely beautiful. Got this 164 scale as well, just not color chrome. Absolutely beautiful. Um, really, really enjoy these uh, color chromes. Here is the hood. Once again, open. I know you can't see too well in there, but I'll open it anyways, just because. Hood does not like to. I think I had it open so long that it doesn't want to. Close. But anyways, there's the front of the car. You can see Mountain Dew. You got the black stripes. And then, of course, the green is all color chrome. Just look at that. Look at it shine in the light here. You can see my fingerprints and where I've touched it and stuff. Um, it is not an elite because it does not have suspension. And, of course, that is not open. But you got Mountain Dew. Half auto parts, Mountain Dew. Of course, you have your opening roof flaps just a really beautiful beautiful die cast really enjoy it Lionel keep producing these and uh, make them elites make all of them elites because that would be awesome I know they're a lot of money though they're like what a hundred something I think because the elites are 89, I think. So the color chrome elites would be like 100 and like 50 or something like that. Speaking of elites, we have Chase Elliott's Baja Blast Elite. And I am supposed to get this in 164 scale. I just know something about this diecast that I'm not happy about. You guys probably saw it. We'll go over it here when we get to the side. Um, but beautiful diecast nonetheless. I love the blue. I love how it has some of that sparkle in it. Not a lot, but some um, before we do anything else. Let's, you know what? I'm going to forget about the hood because this is going to be the same on every car. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. A tropical lime storm. It's definitely a storm. Here is this side, kind of plain. You got like these little black things coming out. 
Beautiful Nine, you got Sun Energy One, Baja Blast, Valvoline, Kelly Blue Book, Napa, pretty much your normal Chase Elliott sponsors. Of course, I'll get to that here in a minute. I did actually put the antenna stuff on uh, this diecast. This is the one I tested it with, and I just I just think it looks odd. You know, cars don't roll around with these things on them. It just rolls around with the camera, so I just thought it looked odd. But I do love the gray nine. You know, black nine, gray nine. Love the black stripes across. It's pretty much the Mountain Dew car, just uh, Mountain uh, Baja Blast colors. There we go. There's Wonder Flap. And come on. These rear flaps are being a little difficult here. Like, I didn't close them right, so. Oh, wow. They were jammed. They got it open. And this is how you know it's an Elite. Boom. Open trunk Mountain Dew Baja Blast on the back, Nap Off Parts, and Mountain Dew right there. And here is the other side. And what I wanted to point out was that should not happen. Okay. Should not be able to stick my finger in there. Just and I have wait. Right? Cause now I'm looking at my other Chase Elliott. Oh my gosh, I don't know guys. The wheels do move though, obviously. Just beautiful die cast. 10 out of 10. Love it. Can't wait for the 164 scale. And you guys will see this car again after this video because you're seeing it again right now. Here is the color comb version. Not going to go over it too much because I just went over it. But pretty much the same stuff. Just beautiful, beautiful color chrome. Uh, what is this? Tropical green, I would call it. Just absolutely beautiful. This is the standard color chrome, not the elite. If I didn't state that already. Um, but just beautiful die cast. Wish those opened. Um, yes, of course. The roof flaps open. See, this is what your car should look like. Just the camera. Now that garbage up top. I don't know why the elites do that, but it is what it is. And see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, it does it for this one, too. I cannot, I should not be able to stick it in the window. Here, I am going to show you that on this die cast, you cannot do that. You can see the window. You can see the window. It, I, I don't get it. And it's the same for the Sun Energy 1 car. So the Mountain Dew Baja Blast cars that I have, um, the window's knocked out. So tell me in the comments below if you guys experience the same problems. Also, you'll see with the Jamie McMurray Gear Wrench car that I review that the wheels do not like to turn. Let me know also if that happens to you guys, if your wheels just deny to turn, if that is Lionel's uh, problem, or if that is the way you take care of them. I am not sure because I'm not a 124 scale enthusiast. I just collect them because they look freaking amazing, and I love the color chromes. But anyways, guys, that is it for the day. Um, Friday, I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway. Um... So, I guess if you haven't um, uh, got into the contest, um, it's literally just called 100 subscriber giveaway. Um, I'll put the link in the description. But, you guys, the giveaway really was supposed to end on Monday. But, since I'm going to announce it, well, you know what, never mind. Never mind. Uh, okay, I wish I was an editor because I would edit that out. Never mind. I will be announcing the winner Friday. There is a winner. Nobody else enter. I'm sorry about what I just said, but let's face it, you probably weren't going to do it anyways. <laughs> I only had one person enter and 34 people watched, I think. So, he'll win. Or he, he is the winner, I should say. I'm sorry, guys. I'm confused. I'm so tired tonight. Oh, my Lord. Anyways, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm so sorry for the confusion. Don't hate me. I'm only human. We all make mistakes, right? Right. So anyways, guys, again, thank you all so much for watching. Please like this video. Leave a comment. Subscribe for more. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Give me a like for my new iPad because it is rocking and rocking strong. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Well, yeah. Right? Yeah. The next video will probably be another 124 scale diecast review. Probably Danica, so whatever. Peace. Peace. Don't ask what this was. I have no idea. Just bye.